my, my brothers, brothers and sisters. sisters. Look, look at, at you. you. Just, Just look, look at, at you. you. Thinking back on our first five years together, much has remained. And much has changed in five more years. I imagine I will be saying the same. New faces, a new place. You have made something old new again. You have restored a space where there was legacy, but no life. You have joined in the chorus of liturgy, inviting many into the new power and peace of ancient words and rituals. You have fostered hope where there was hurt and bitterness and fear. You have brought forth refreshment where there was weariness. And still, you will continue to discover and cultivate resurrection. You will find more new spaces to renew, whether they are physical places, programs, words, practices, or relationships. You will plant seeds and witness their growth. You will sow and you will reap. You will be filled up by and fill up others when you are empty. You have been in real relationships. You have brought meals, hosted showers, blessed unions and partnerships, cried and laughed with, told the truth, heard the truth, apologized and made amends, danced and sung together, celebrated and grieved. You have looked others in the eye. You have refused to dehumanize other or reject. You have asked questions, been listeners and listened to. You have expanded the circle of who you care for and who cares for you ever wider. And you have borne the greatest risk of all, of asking to be known, seen, and loved, and then gone and met that great risk in others with the resounding yes. Yes, I know you. Yes, I see you. And yes, I love you. And still, you will continue to experience real relationships. You will bring yourself, your whole imperfect beloved self, into this community. You will hear and witness unspeakable pain and speak truth to yourself and to those you love. You will embody care, you will do, serve, extend, nurture, give, wait, show up for, and come alongside those who call on you. You will experience the holy terror of being loved and the delight and strength of loving in return. You have been good and useful neighbors. You have shared power, helped paint walls and clear trees. You have cleaned, cooked, provided shelter, warmth, food, and kindness. You have echoed the words and work of those doing justice and provided comfort and care to the often overlooked. You have learned and continue to learn and repent of the sins of racism, misogyny, violence, and all manner of injustice within yourself, your workplace, your families, and your communities. You have given tangibly to our schools, our teachers, our nonprofits, our leaders, and so many more. And still, you will keep doing good for those around you. You will find needs to meet, desires and dreams to cherish and partner with. You will seek out the least of these and make much of them. You will continue to be good and generous stewards of your land, your space, your money, your talents, your time. You will lend hope, share vision and power, and follow when it would be more comfortable to lead. You will name and grieve the injustices committed against your neighbor, especially those committed by yourself, and work for the good in every possible way. You will honor the other and find the joyful intersection of your great hope in our world's great need. You have come to know and make known the way of Jesus. You have dared to declare the kingdom of God in the midst of war, poverty, natural destruction, terrorism, injustice, racism, recession, unemployment, mental illness, pandemic, politics, loss, yes. sickness, and unto death. You have sought Jesus in the everyday and the extraordinary. You have looked to the cross when it would have been easier to attack or blame. You have proclaimed resurrection when it would have been easier to perish. You have been with God, and God has surely been with you. And still, you continue to seek Jesus and long to live out his presence in your life. You will listen and have your heart opened by ancient words, simple stories and songs, by prayers both spoken and lived. You will feel God's nearness, be wrapped up in the presence of Jesus as you work, worship, study, rest, teach, play, wait, speak, and dream. You will be taught and led by the Spirit, moved to compassion, conviction, and change. You will share this light, holding it for your neighbor when theirs feels dim. You will be holy and completely loved, and you will be called on to love in return. All of, All of this, this you have, have done. done through the spirit at work within and through you. And still, you continue to dream. 
We, we are, are delighted, delighted to be, to be dreaming, dreaming alongside, alongside you. you. Thanks.